John, great to have you back on the show. Thanks, uh, Morgan. Good to see you. Given the fact that both Applebee's and IHOP uh, comp, comp sales uh, increased double-digit percentages, uh, walk me through where we saw those increases, how much it speaks to the ongoing health of the consumer versus the fact that price increases are adding to bigger bills for people who are coming in and eating. That's right. So let's talk about the consumer part first, and then we can get to the, the price increases. Well, like you said, um, you know, we made, uh, you know, bold choices and smart investments over the last couple of years that we think are paying off. You know, we're seeing it in the results from the past quarter. Like you mentioned, double-digit weekly sales um, for Applebee's this quarter versus the last. And we're at a time where there's, there's economic headwinds and tailwinds, right, as you've been speaking about all morning. And while there is inflation and fuel prices, supply chain issues, there are also some encouraging consumer stats that, that I think are helpful to share. Um, you know, the, the first... Uh, the first is that the real wages for the, the bottom quartile of earners is outpacing wage increases for the other three quartiles. Um, and so, you know, our guests primarily earn under $75,000 a year. And that population, their wage growth was 5 to 6 percent in the last quarter, which is helping them in part, you know, combat the, um, the inflation issue. The other thing is QSR pricing, Morgan, is, has risen faster than full-service dining restaurants. You know, that's favorable for us as well. You know, I'll also tell you that when you look at the CPI index, the cost of eating at home, meaning grocery, is, is growing faster than the cost of eating out. Um, and the last thing I'll tell you is that, you know, we look at a lot of the research about consumer intent to return to restaurants. It remains at an all-time high. So at a time when we're all trying to sort through this conflicting economic data, there are some interesting data points that are, that are supportive of the guest behavior that we saw in the last quarter and showed up in our numbers. So those are some very interesting statistics you just you just put out. Um, but in terms of labor and some of the dynamics we've seen there, are you able to get enough workers? Are you able to have stores open uh, as many hours as you would like to see? And in terms of what that means for pricing to consumers, is there any kind of pushback on any kind of products in general starting to materialize yet? So, and that's the challenge, right? At a time when we're still seeing encouraging guest behavior, uh, we're only about 90% staffed nationwide across both, both brands. And so it's been that way for several quarters now. And we're beginning to assume and plan for that this is the new normal going forward. And in an environment when we're 90% staffed, it does affect our ability to open to full pre-pandemic hours, particularly late night hours. And it also prevents us from turning as many tables and seating as many people as we could during peak hours, like breakfast and brunch for IHOP on weekends. And so that's the challenge. And, and what we have to do in the short term is really focus not only on recruiting, but on retention, because the hourly workers in the restaurant industry do have a high turnover. So it's very much about retention, because we are seeing an increase in, in applicants for, for jobs. Over the long term, you know, we're trying to make bold choices about technology, not to replace our workers, but to make them more productive, because we're assuming we'll have fewer workers going forward. We have an IHOP mm -hmm. franchisee that we're partnering with in California who's testing a robot, kind of looks like R2-D2, that helps servers deliver the food and helps servers clear the table and send the dishes back to the kitchen. So we're, you know, we're leaning into things like that for the future to help our servers and our back-of-house cooks um, you know, be more efficient. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.